Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will teach you what is a class and how you can declare classes and how you can use classes in C Sharp. So first of all, what is a class? A class is a collection of related data and method which performs some task. For example, you can create a class of book and you can perform uh, the task like print book or you can uh, have the variable in that class like book ID, book author or uh, book name and other example can be you can create a class to know the volume of a box. You can uh, declare length, breadth and width of the box and you can uh, uh, calculate the volume of the box using a class so a class contains a function of related data right so when you use this classes it helps you to visualize the complex problem efficiently and effectively so let's see how we can declare classes in c sharp and how we can use them so for example, we have been seeing this uh, code from the starting and this is also a class, class which has the keyword class and we have the class name example1 and we have the main method inside the class which is a public method. Okay, So for creating a class, you can just give the name class which is a class keyword which recognizes that it's a class and then you give the name of the class so name of the class generally uh, just take it as a convention start with a capital letter so for example I have a class called box and then class will start with and end with these curly braces okay and whatever you write inside these classes is the member functions or member methods or and member variables of this box class okay so let's declare the member variables in class so member variable you can declare with a access specifier access specifier can be of three types public private and protected for now we are using public and public means you can use the members of the class in other classes also okay so let's declare a public variable i will write public double height comma length comma width okay so i have declared three variables which are public this is called the access specifier and we have made this public access specifier and we have three variables length height and width or we can say length length breadth and height okay and these are the three variables we, are, we have declared and suppose we want to calculate the volume of this box so we can declare a member method of the class like this so you can start the member method like a method declaration we have uh, discussed earlier in the previous videos you have access specifier which is public and then you have the return type for example this is uh, returning double okay and then you have the name of the method which is volume okay and then you have these curly braces where you can write the code right and let's say this uh, method takes three parameter double length comma double 
double breadth and double height okay so now we can calculate length uh, volume of this box by returning length or in bracket we can write length multiplied by breadth multiplied by multiplied by height okay so this will give you the volume of this box okay now this these are the member variables and these are the member functions now how can you use this class in your main method which is in other class which is the main class which we are using and here we have the main function and we want to call this class inside our main function how we can do it this also you know i think you just need to give the name of the class which is box and then you give the instance or object of the class instance and object are used interchangeably so they are the same thing okay so i have for example i declare box 1 is equal to new box okay so this i have created the instance of the class and how we can use it you can just copy this box variable and you can assign for example you want to assign the value of length breadth and height you, what you can do is you just use box1 dot length is equal to 45 for example in a same way box1 dot breadth is equal to 10 and box1 dot height is equal to 20 okay this is how you can initialize values in the box classes so this l b and h belongs to this box class right and when uh, whenever you give this dot by intelligence you can see all the members of the class breadth height and length and you can also see this volume function you have created here right now you want to calculate the volume right so what we can do is we can write console sorry console dot right line and you can say volume of box 1 is and in the placeholder you can write 0 and you can call this function which is which you need to first take the instance of this class right so just take box 1 dot volume and it recognizes this automatically okay so this volume is this volume and we are calling this a uh, function from this box instance we have created now we can pass length comma breadth comma height okay and this will return the volume of the box one i will run this program and it says this has error because i haven't given the semicolon here so i will give the semicolon and now i will run the program and you can see the volume of the box is this right but generally it's uh, for example whenever you assign you already assign these values to your uh, length breadth and height so you don't even need these parameters right what you can do is you can 
use these parameters to calculate the volume of your box right so how you can do it we have the same variable length breadth and height and we are calling the same variable here length breadth and height so you don't even need to give the parameter here and to recognize that this is uh, let's say i was taking these parameter so to recognize that this l is this l or this l is this l we need to use a keyword called this okay so otherwise this will not you will not be able to recognize it 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 is little bit confusing that what this l is this l is this one or this l is this one right so whenever you use this keyword this dot your length this indicates that this is a member of the class this is indirectly pointing to the class and now you can definitely say that this dot l is the member variable of the class and not this one okay so just always try to use this keyword whenever you use member variables in your member method this dot breadth and this dot height okay and now you don't even need to give the parameters your volume will be calculated using these parameters okay because you have initialized these parameters like this and once again when you run the program it will give you the same result now you can create multiple instance of the class so this is the one instance of a class now suppose you want to cal calculate the volume of the box 2 what you can do is just copy it this code and paste it down so and you need to give the different name this will be box and I will just change this instance of box 1 by box 2 ok so now you have the box 2 instance and here you can provide some other length breadth and height so it's not that you can only create one instance of a class you can create multiple instance of a class and each instance of a class will have its own member variable and its own member function so this have this all this instance holds also have its own length breadth and height and this instance box 2 also have this length breadth and height and volume okay and now when you run the program it will give you the result for both boxes box 1 and box 2 here should be box 2 so it will give you a clear picture so it will give you the volume of box 1 and box 2 so you can create the instance of class to calculate different uh, uh, different volumes of the boxes right so this is one example how you can declare a class what is this access modifier and how you can use classes in your main method right i hope you have understood the main basic concept of classes in the next video also i will continue with classes and i will tell you something more about classes so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now